We're crumbs. We both like cooking and, and we, we love, love food and chocolate and red wine. I call this slack mummy soup because I'm a bit slack, I'm a mummy, and these are all the ingredients you need to make a lovely soup. First of all, there's a bit of stock. Uh, I use marigold bouillon, but you can use whatever you like, whatever you've got in the cupboard. There's this magic stuff. Every supermarket does it. It's a winter vegetable mix and it's to put into casseroles. It's already peeled, it's already chopped, it's all ready to go in the saucepan. I then also add some dairy. The great thing about this recipe is that you can use whatever dairy you have in the fridge. I am going to use Greek yogurt. And then I garnish, because I think children like garnish. And generally I've got a bit of greenery hanging around. So I came up with the idea for this recipe when my children were very young and I was having to do a lot of one-handed cooking and the idea that you can knock up fish fingers and mashed potato when you've got two children baying for food um, was well it was way beyond me instead I used to serve up things that were much quicker and easier like this hot water I'm gonna do half a litre Lucy had an accident with a zip wire last night, so she, I think she was swinging down it with her youngest and has now possibly got a fractured wrist. She's resting in bed. So one-handed cooking has a lot of relevance around here at the moment. So these are carrots and swede, a bit of turnip. It's all really healthy. And at the end, I'm going to stir in lots of dairy so it smooths it out. Natural styly. So after five minutes of simmering, uh, I'm going to whiz it in the whizzer. If you have time to make proper soup, do caramelize those onions, let it simmer for 20 minutes. And if you are organized enough to put it in your freezer and then can defrost it in time for your children's lunch, brilliant, well done. You are a very special mummy. I do that sometimes but sometimes I don't, and that's when I make this. Right, I'm just gonna switch this on to puree. I reckon that's it. There we go. Let's taste this, make sure it's okay. Lovely. They should eat that. I always put in quite a lot of dairy because I find that children prefer it to vegetables and it takes the edge off a little bit for them. And then I'm going to put a bit of greenery on it because although children will do their very best to avoid greenery, um, I find as a garnish it makes things look pretty and children do like it if their food looks pretty. And then they might even forget that it's made out of carrots and swede and leeks. Yep, and yep, pepper. Go. Voila. Slack mummy soup. So that's how you make slack mummy soup. Really easy, really quick. Give it a go. Let us know how you get on. Comment below. Give us a tweet. Let us know how it went. And um, subscribe. Subscribe to us and see all the recipes that we make. Is my lens very steamy? It's not.